Aspen Avionics has achieved remarkable success with its modular EFD series EFA systems for the aftermarket. If you've ever wondered what makes these things tick, well, so have we. We recently visited Aspen's factory in Albuquerque, where the company's CEO, John Yusakai, walked us through how these things are built and wrung out before shipping. What we have uh, with us today is the, uh, the EFD display system. The EFD display system is predicated on the availability or the ability to have all the functional operation of the box inside the canister, including the Atahars and Air Data computer system. And that consists of three separate boards that fit in the canister of the EFD. The three boards consist of the sensor board, which has the Atahars, Air Data computer, and other sensors on there, the main processing board, which has the computing aspects of it, and the I.O. board, which is connected to the connector. What I'd like to do now is take a look in detail at the Adahar's uh, board itself. What I have here is the sensor board, which is basically the heart of our system. It consists of the primary sensors for attitude heading reference system and our air data computer system. This three-dimensional board that you see here contains all the gyros and accelerometers required to provide the pitch and roll instruments uh, to the aircraft. What you see above here, which is encapsulated in some insulation, is the pitostatic inputs in the air data computers. And we actually heat those to a constant temperature to provide uh, better long-term and short-term accuracy of those instruments. Because uh, Aspen doesn't have GPS uh, aiding in its Adahar solution, this requires us to provide uh, some sort of calibration to the system to ensure that the relative measurements are against the absolute uh, measurements. And what we have to do is we have to take each of these chips and we, we burn them in over temperature individually as the chips, and then we take the chips assembled on the sensor board and we take them through a process of calibration, which I'd like to share with you now. One of the first things we do to calibrate the system is to ensure that the pitch and roll aspects of the system are accurate. And what we have here is a system that uh, is an FAA certified system that tilts and, roll and, and puts pitch and roll into the system where we automatically calibrate those aspects and we imprint those into the, into the actual memory itself so that the system provides accurate pitch and roll. After we calibrate the pitch and roll of the system, we take the system into this particular test fixture, which calibrates the speed and the altitude. So what happens, we have an external device that sets the speed and altitude absolute numbers. It reads what it has, in this case, 4840, and then it will set the number within memory to the 5,000 foot that the test equipment is setting up. And we do that at incremental uh, altitudes and speeds throughout the spectrum of the, of the actual instrument itself. After the system has been fully calibrated, then we take the system into a set of ovens that we have. What you see on my left here is a fixture where we put units into and we connect them up to power and we connect them up to uh, pedostatic inputs to run them through a whole battery of tests. Those battery of tests include running the temperature up to 55 degrees down to minus 25 degrees and cycling power and changing data associated with them. And the purpose of that is to take out infant mortality out of solder joints and also to ensure that our sensors do not drift under, under differing uh, temperatures and and indications. We run it through a temperature. We also augment that by running uh, nitrogen into the system so we shock cool them. So we do some accelerated testing as well to ensure that we take out any kind of failures that might occur prior to them getting in the field. After the unit has gone through the extensive amount of calibration, burn in and, and tests that we did. And the unit's now ready for delivery. I have in my hand a unit today that will be delivered today. Um, each of these units, uh, before we deliver all the data taken during calibration and testing is all recorded uh, for comparisons for future use and for uh, analysis. And once the unit's ready, it goes in an electrostatic bag, goes in the box, we put the, put the cover over it, we put our uh, material in it, and she's ready to go. You can find out more about Aspen's full product line at aspenavionics.com. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.